Hi guys, my name is Tom Thorpe. I'm going to take you through some of the equipment which I use for my sea kayaking trips. Basic principle is minimise and prioritise. A lot of the time in the sea kayaking world, people wear far too much and they take way too much equipment, always preparing for worst case scenarios. However, we know what the weather's doing, we know our abilities, hopefully. Um, we can look out and see the sea states so we know what's going to happen. We can plan our trips well. Obviously it comes with experience, but let me show you what I do. PFDs. These are white water PFDs and the reason why I wear them, this one's got a nice harness system, really good for coast steering. However, the pockets are still big, you can get loads of kit in there. So for playing, rock gardening, surfing, that's brilliant. This one, a little bit more minimal. Um, really good for FSK, fits me really nicely, doesn't hinder any movement. Pocket on the front so you can still put food and comms and whatnot in there. Expedition PFD, loads of pockets, um, made for radios, um, you can put your mobile phones and flares. Front entry, which is nice, you need to be able to get stuff off. If you're in open water cruising, um, you, you shouldn't have to go to the beach to change your layers and switch up your gear. Usually I'll wear a two-piece. I'll only really wear a dry suit if I'm surfing or playing in the winter, instant management where I'm going to be swimming. My aim is usually to roll, so something like a, an NRS Orion CAG is perfect. Still really solid material, sheds all the water, highly breathable. It's got a latex wrist, a glide skin neck which keeps most of the water out. Along with some bibs, this is a sidewinder pan. Um, nice socks, warm and, uh, your feet stay warm and dry. Relief zip, super important. And the bibs fit you quite high, which means that, you, again, you don't get any restriction around your core. A lighter weight CAG, so if I'm cruising or doing a long trip and I'm just wearing a thermal, I'll have this in a day hatch or pull out in the summer, I can put it on quite quickly. If a front comes over or the weather changes, then we can just make sure we stay warm and dry. Dry suit, good quality dry suit, it is worth investing the money. Front entry, um, a relief zip as standard. Um, socks again, I'm really not into latex um, ankle seals. Latex on the neck, and again, this is one of the reasons why the, the glide skin's really nice, because you'll find after a while, you'll get a dry skin, uh, a dry suit rash just because you know looking around all the time there is a bit of chafage it's just the way it is but it does keep you really nice and dry and super warm spray decks are really important they need to fit your boat they need to be quite a good fit which means they're going to shed the water you don't want any pooling and that means that you've got to get the body tube to fit you nicely you don't want it too big because it'll just come fall down, you don't want it too small because it will stop you breathing and it will again restrict your movement. Usually on a longer trip or in the FSKs I'll fold the tube down just to free up my body even more and then if I'm going to be playing I can fold it back up to create a better seal. Thermals, seamless, less chafe. Toe lines, I'm not going to talk too much about this because I'm going to do a throw toe, toe line um, and throw line video um, in the next, well, the next few days. Helmets. Now, do we really need to wear a helmet all the time? I don't think so. I think that sea kayakers wear helmets too much. Um, they are essential if you're going to go rock gardening or surfing. But if you're just going to cruise in open water, there's very little to hit. Yeah? It's nice to have the option to play, but again, I don't think we always need a helmet. If you do go for a helmet, it needs to fit properly, 
Um, this particular one is composite. It's got very little um, flex, which is good. The strap system's really decent. Some helmets kind of ride up if you go in the surf, and you need to make sure that whole system doesn't. Well, that that's, that helmet fits to stop that from happening. Beanies, essential equipment. You need to buy one or wear one. One of my most important pieces of gear, if I stop or if there's an emergency, I need to keep my body temperature up, is a belay jacket. It's a primal off jacket, nice and warm. I can put it on when I stop for food or you know whatever I need to. If I need to sleep on the beach, then this is actually, it doubles up as a sleeping bag along with an emergency shelter. Anyway guys, if you want to know any more, come down to Cornwall and Devon. Myself and Expedition Paddler are going to be running some courses in the future. And it'd be great to see you. Cheers.